If your own followers can't figure out how best to share or live your teachings, then why should anyone else? Sit down. That's your answer. I don't mean you, I mean my students. Sit with me. Now? Yes, please. Hello, Simon. Rabbi, we didn't come here to cause trouble. Well, it would appear that trouble has found us. So then, we should address it. And how do you propose to do that, Big James? Listen to them. <laughs> my friends, sit with me. We cannot go any further until we agree on something. Hmm? Please. I'm a rabbi, and as these Jewish brothers will tell you, we like to teach by asking questions, and we all like to solve problems by talking. It begins with a disagreement, even better. So, feel free to listen, and if you'd like to argue a bit, that's fine too. Rabbi, we look weak and defenseless. On the way to Jairus' house, in Capernaum, what happened when the woman Veronica touched me? Power went out from you. No, I mean, what happened to her? She was healed. How? By touching the fringe of your garment. No. My friends, you forget so quickly. You are dear to me. <laughs> but your memories are short. You said, daughter, go in peace. Your faith has made you well. Your what? Faith. faith. Her faith. Many of you are afraid right now. Instead of choosing to have faith in me. But, Rabbi, you must see what's happening all around us. Of course he does. That's the point. Rabbi, increase our faith. Judas, if you had faith the size of a grain of mustard seed, you could say to a mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Can a mulberry tree go in the sea? He's making a point. Truly, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you could say to a mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. How? How do we get there? Like Judas said, you increase our faith. It's not about size, Philip. It's about who your faith is in. If your faith is secure in God, trusting His promises, choosing His will for your life instead of your own, this sized faith is enough. These people we are ministering to, they are like bees hovering among the flowers, waiting for them to open up so they can sip the nectar and spread it to others. But they must see a faith in you that is secure, big or small. Looks like you have your work cut out for you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You're right, teacher. They do have short memories. Excuse me. Well, what are you doing? Step back, we're listening to our teacher. So am I. Ignore him, son. This moment is about us and Jesus. What is that smell? Rancid. Oh. It is an infection, okay? My leg is broken and it got infected. Mind your own business. You need to get that checked out. It's really bad. Oh. All right. Unclean! Silence. Look, I didn't ask to get a broken leg. And we didn't ask for him to come into this region and make things worse. I'll talk to you in a moment. I'm here to test what he said about the faith of the bleeding woman. I already know, brother. I know you.
<laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would strictly charge you to tell no one, in some regions and with some people. It's just not my time to be revealed and to escalate tension too soon. But it looks like we're past that. It's been a long time since I've read. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you came, Simon. It's going to be a long day. <laughs>